just thought I'd do a quick run over of this while I'm playing around. Uh, you can see my little forest here. Um, run around. Not exactly super thick. And you can see it's not exactly perfect. You can see sort of slight whiteness around the edges of the trees. That's because they're all planes. This is my attempt to just mess around. You can see you got Klaus. Oh, there's a spear. That don't look too bad though. Um, just a quick render I did of a tree. And then... Voila! We have flat trees. Well, obviously I needed to make a plane and texture it to the plane and whatnot, but there we go. Let's just show you. 35, 30 frames per second. I've got about 260 trees here. That's pretty bad. That's on full whack, apart from I've knocked the shadows down. Let's knock them off. Forte. Bit better. You certainly wouldn't be getting 40 frames per second if you had proper trees like this. And obviously, this is just a test run. I thought, let's see how it goes, see if it really improves performance, and then I'll probably make them a bit better, either a bit more 3D so you can see them from every angle. Although they are designed to be background trees only. Or, you know, they rotate to match you. But that will slow things down in its own right, because I've got to write a script to get them all to rotate to face you. Like Mirkwood or something. Not that Mirkwood ever did that, but um, yeah, so you can see it's it's not exactly the fastest. Let's drop everything down to lowest. A bit of time to think about it. 46. So yeah, I'll get a lot more than if I was using trees. I may just whop a tree one together just to add to this, just to show you. I'm sure you already know, anyone who uses FPS Creator is going to know that trees kill the system somewhat. Um, but even with just bare minimum planes, it's still not up to speed. So we certainly need these speed enhancements to be forthcoming in the next update. Because it's definitely not getting massive speeds here. So I get about 60 normally on the scene. And then these trees knock it down a bit. Yeah. I could probably have quite a few more trees and it wouldn't slow it down too much, but it will get there. And that's just trees. Nothing else. No soldiers. No enemies. No buildings. Just a few trees. And I can guarantee I could make the system crawl if I put too many trees on. So yeah, um, yeah, I might do a demonstration of just lots of trees in comparison. But I don't, I don't know. We'll, we will see. Right, this is with 620 trees. I don't know if that flashing was on the video or what, but it flashed for a second there. It's looking up to 43, so it's definitely a more viable option if you want to get lots of woods. But obviously you'll never be able to... Well, you can go in them, but they'll look a bit rubbish. So you need to use this for your background stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely got potential. Still need more speed. But you could sort of see a bit more scenic scenes look. From a distance it looks pretty awesome. That's how it's supposed to be. Of course if you can make it level of detail and make the flat planes when they're in the distance following you, rotating to follow you, and then when you go in close that changes to a low poly object and then a better one. That would be good. I'm not sure if that's possible. I know there's an LOD system but I've never really looked into it too much. It's not like easily available that I can that I know to. There might be an easy way of finding it, I don't know. I'll have to look. But yeah, hmm, that's, it's it's thirty seven there. Hmm. It's definitely dropped. But six hundred and what, twenty items now did I say? Six something like that. Six hundred and twenty. So that's quite a few more. And it's coping reasonably. And they've all got collision as you can see because they will be vanished. Apart from those ones that I placed down slightly wrong. 
1520. Different scene. Um, you can see it's down to 27. This is on the lowest possible settings of, that I can think of, apart from changing the main config file. But yeah, we're, we're sort of down to bad frames now, but it is 1500 planes. But it's still hardly looking full. A little bit empty there. I could probably add more and it probably won't slow it down massively, massively, but yeah. You could hardly fill the entire scene with trees like you see in some games. But uh, a bit more clever, including and a few hills, you could probably get away with it in some ways. You can see, you get quite a good frames per second boost for using your planes instead of objects. Not as much as you'd like, but if you want to try and make a scene that looks great and you've got invisible walls that stop you getting anywhere near it or whatever, or just a well designed level that stops you getting near it, that would look nice in the background. Just need a bit more speed. Oh, and of course, you've got to have them rotate into fascia or just cleverly design them so wherever you are in the level, you're only going to be able to look at them from that angle. Yeah, anyway, that's enough. That's enough tests. Um, I've not been fruitful as I'd like, but it's 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 not too bad. I could, you know, I was thinking about making some planes with a few more trees, so you could make it look a lot busier with even just the same amount of objects. But yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later. 2009 trees. Not that that's particularly super impressive, but there we go. Look at all that lot. 24, 25 frames per second. You can definitely see, if you had 2,000 trees, or 2,000 anything, you would not keep these frames per second. So planes are definitely a good idea. It's a pity the quad system that's built in, or was supposedly going to be built in, may still be built in, isn't working. Cause it obviously does work to a degree, although we are struggling a bit, but they have all got collision, remember. It may well speed it up to turn collision off on them, but you know, I'd have to go through them and change them all individually, that ain't happening, that ain't happening. I should do a test with collision off as well, I suppose, but this is long enough as it is. So yeah, 2009, looks a bit better, but it's hardly skyrim. look at that. Loads more trees. Perhaps a bit bigger might help. A few more in the plane to make it look like there's more trees. You now put three or four in the plane and then you're, you're instantly looking thicker. But yeah, just ways and thoughts of how to speed your scenes up. I've always thought this would be the fastest way to do something. Obviously, it's the lowest polygon count you can get. It's not too bad. Cubs quite well with 2,000. I don't know how much further I could go. Probably no further. Not much at all. I think 3,000 might pull it into the frames of not being smooth whatsoever. But at the moment, I can just about live with that. Just about see them disappearing in the distance. We. Now that's a pretty long draw distance there. A few hills in the way. Yeah, you'd be sound. You could cope with that, I think. You know, you've got to have some sort of draw distance to keep up with it, but it shows it nicely, yeah? That's right. You don't normally notice it quite so much. With objects. I don't know, it might be just because I'm on a vast empty plane here running around looking at it. So yeah, not too bad. I'm, I'm blathering now. So yeah, I'll get off.